Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. Welcome to episode 41 of Shop at the Shed. And yes, I am back in the shed. Uh, maybe only a couple of shed opportunities um, left before uh, this house gets handed over to its new owners. And that includes the shed. So there will always be a great story as I move forward with this uh, project on where it started and that is here at the shed so anyway a little bit of housekeeping as always before we start uh, number one all bags are pre-loved they are gently used um, there may be scratches blemishes if I know what they are I will point them out however I don't catch everything all the time. I'm pretty good at um, at catching most things because I handle the bag several times in my choosing process. They're all hand-picked. I don't get box lots, thrift boxes, or anything like that. Um, I clean them all myself, so I've got a pretty good um, opportunity on several occasions to uh, notice... <coughs> any issues or or things of that nature but like I said there there is the absolute possibility that I will miss something um, so just I have had it happen in the past not so much on the shop at the shed but definitely in my Etsy on my Etsy shop uh, people do not realize that the bags are pre-loved and especially on Etsy because they're vintage that is the qualifier to be allowed to sell bags on Etsy 20 years plus so the struggle is real people so the bags are pre-loved there is no exchanges refunds um, uh, exchanges refunds what's the other one I always forget it returns returns exchanges refunds I guess that's what it is um, the bags are available for you to see on my website, leatherbaglady.com. I try and take uh, as best pictures as I can. And then obviously you have this outlet to see the bag in real time. And again, I will show you um, any blemishes or anything that is, um, you know, problematic with the bag. So yeah, not uh, not uh, dealing with return returns, refunds, exchanges. However, if the bag does arrive to your uh, home and something obviously has happened during the shipping process, then please let me know. Uh, all my bags are insured when I ship them. Uh, that is an extra cost. So um, I didn't even really give that much credence or credit, but um, a lot of uh, sellers on uh, eBay, Poshmark, uh, Etsy, Shopify, they do not insure their packages that is an extra cost to you so no I don't do that um, and that leads me right into our next item is that the shipping is not free unless you spend over a hundred dollars and then I will uh, I will provide the shipping um, in saying that you're not paying for the full shipping I mean yesterday or earlier today I sent a bag to Florida that was almost $25 and I think the bag was pretty well that price so um, you know so you pay a little bit of the shipping I pay a little bit of the shipping and I'm happy to do that otherwise it would just be ridiculous um, I mean sometimes the shipping is more than the bag so um, so that's kind of the housekeeping out of the way I've got some really nice bags for you um, this evening I am going to be able to upload the video from here so it's not going to take three four hours to upload like it does at the trailer so we will get started so item number one is this really really cool purple metallic leather shoulder crossbody bag look at this strap by the sack I've never seen anything like this by the sack now there is there is a tiny little bit yeah you know, it's not even showing up on the screen tiny little bit of corner wear I would rather you be pleasantly surprised which happens all the time I get uh, feedback where customers are saying, oh, the bag's in much better condition than I thought. And uh, lovely pink fabric interior. 
I would much rather uh, do that than, you know, set us up for problems by uh, telling you the bag is something that it is not. So you have a zipper compartment there and that is it. There is a nice base on the bag and uh, super cute. I've never seen anything like this from the sack. Um, Elliot Luca is uh, the young man that own or founded the SAC brand. Um, this is kind of more in keeping with their branding. Uh, Elliot Luca is both of their, one of their first names, one of their last names. And um, this is a lot more in keeping with that brand. It's a little bit dressier, a little bit more formal. Um, it's kind of a distressed look, nice soft leather, but very, very unique for sure. So that is bag number one. This is a beauty. So I've never actually come across a coach bag with this beautiful jacquard um, fabric. I mean, look at the coach and the horses. It is just fabulous the base is great now i think there may have been a shoulder strap in this bag's life there was not one and i don't have anything that um would work but what i am going to suggest is that if you do then i'm not 100 percent sure but i do think that there is a strap that slid around, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But not, nevertheless, I do not have it. And I'm not going to be able to add a uh, strap because it is patent. And I just think it would scream uh, that it wasn't a good match. But it, this bag is in beautiful condition there's basically no corner wear whatsoever it is um, the jacquard and then black patent which sometimes doesn't wear particularly well but this is really lovely it is quite a large bag there is your interior it's awfully dark there's you know what, I'm just going to take it out. There's two slip pockets. There is a zipper compartment. There is your Creed. And it is just, just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Very unique. I had to think about it for a minute, whether I wanted to sell it. But uh, I just, I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that is bag number two. And bag number three. This is our pound bag today. So really not a whole heck of a lot wrong with this little guy. There is a little mark there. There is a little bit, little bit of color loss in the corner. Nothing crazy. A little bit of darkening on the strap there you can see I love these cotton almost kind of it's not nylon like a seat belt but it, it kind of gives me seat belt vibes it is an adjustable strap there is a little uh, Calvin Klein jeans little plaque there it is a coated canvas the interior is absolutely fabulous there is a big pouch slip pocket there a zipper here and it's all monogrammed inside and monogrammed outside now in the listing on uh, leatherbaglady.com where you will go if you see something that you like um, all the bags are listed there and you can purchase them there and then I will ship them out to you um, this is a great kind of introductory bag for a young lady I think it's fun it's a fun color it's, uh, you know, not uh, an expensive bag that, you know, they're going to use and abuse. Um, but it is a brand name bag. It's a Calvin Klein. It's a great uh, designer bag. And it's a really inexpensive entry level bag 
for a granddaughter or a little uh, neighbor or daughter or something of that nature. I just, I've had this bag for such a long time and I just, I don't know, I think it's really cute. Some little lady is going to really rock this, I feel. So that is our pound bag today. Nothing crazy wrong with it other than I've just had it for quite a while and it's time for it to find a new home. So our fourth bag, I just absolutely love this shape. So this is a Danier leather bag. Now, I am not a huge fan of new Danier bags, so I'm going to suggest that this could potentially even be a vintage bag. There's your Danier branding. I love this kind of Louis Vuitton Alma-ish shape. It is just so cute. There is no loops for a crossbody or shoulder bag. It is a true top handle bag. Great base on it. Now, there are a couple of little blemishes. So there is a scratch here, and then there's a couple of little marks. But this, um, this kind of very light-colored uh, kind of caramel tan really does uh, lend itself to, you know, patina and some uh, marking. It's just the nature of the leather. There is uh, some coating on it, so it's not going to, um, you know, it's not going to be so delicate that if you, you know, got some raindrops on it or, or whatnot, that it, it wouldn't survive. Love that it has two zippers. Love that it goes all the way, well, not all the way to the bottom, but quite far down and that it has the side gussets so that all your items do not fall out. There is your interior. This is another kind of telltale sign that it is a vintage Danier, just because they don't make those uh, tags anymore. Zipper compartment, there is some glue um, overrun here, which is pretty typical of a lot of these older style bags. But the lining, other than that, there's no foam pouches, so that is another kind of telltale sign that this is potentially a vintage bag. But I just love it. I love the color. I love the shape. I love how unique this bag is. This is just a very, very different offering for um, Danier. And their vintage stuff is just such amazing quality. So um, I wouldn't take a free one if you gave it to me the quality they offer now my opinion my opinion so that is our fourth item and last but not least this oh actually there is just a little bit of corner wear as well I can probably do a little work on this I just have to be very careful with this light colored leather because I don't want to do anything to uh, ruin it I'd rather have a couple little uh, marks on it than, you know, ruin the, the bag with putting uh, moisturizers and stuff on it that is going to darken it. Have to be careful with the lighter colors. Now, this little bag, this is our small today. I absolutely love this. Bottega Veneta? No. Could it be? No. <laughs> there is a label inside that says Liberty. Now, Liberty, it's right in there. You're not going to be able to see it. I can't get it open that wide. Liberty is a kind of a unique brand in the UK. Now, am I 100% sure that that's what this is? No, I'm not. But it does say, um, what is the Liberty produced under license? So Liberty is almost like... Um, they have a number of brands under their umbrella. If I recall from when I lived in the UK, I went to London a couple of times with a girlfriend and we went into the Liberty store. And, you know, they had their own brand, which I think this may well be. And then they had, you know, it's kind of like free people, I guess. They have a bunch of different um, brands underneath that parent brand, if you like. 
but this woven black leather is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I mean, this is a teeny weeny little bag. The strap is this kind of brass tone threaded. I just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It detaches. So you could use this as a clutch. You could put this as a little utility case inside another bag. But then there's this little guy here, which, I mean, is it big enough to get your hand through? Not really, but can you still hang on to it? Absolutely. So I'm not sure what this is all about. I mean, it is attached inside. It won't come out. So I'm not sure what that is, but it is just gorgeous. It's very unique, beautifully made. There is not a flaw. There was one little, well, I thought I saw a little flaw on one of the, but the, the weave is perfectly spaced. Sometimes these woven bags will bunch on, uh, you know, in a certain area, but I, I don't even think this bag has been used. It is just so cute. Very unique. If you are into, um, you know, having things that nobody else has, this little guy is just beautiful. But go and check out the pictures um, on leatherbag.com. You'll have all the measurements and everything there. And you can decide if this is something you want to rock uh, for the summer season. I mean, are you going to get a phone in it? No. Are you going to get keys, lipstick, credit cards, some cash? Absolutely. Um unless you've got a teeny weeny little phone, but um, I don't really care. This is absolutely beautiful. As, if you're a little bit of a fashionista and you like things that nobody else has, this is for you. So that's our small for today. And that is about it. So um, I, as I said, I am gonna upload this video from home. Um, it will be done in a timely fashion and um, if you see something you like, I got bitten to death by mosquitoes last night. Everywhere, all over my arms, on my face. <clears throat> I have a very, very rough relationship with mosquitoes. So, um, yeah, they're really starting to itch. But anyway, that is it for me. Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Leatherbaglady.com is where you go if you see something in this episode that you like. But be aware that there are probably 60, 70 other bags listed online there. Maybe there might be something else that you like. Okay, take care everybody and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!